Konnichiwa everybody, my name is Whipster and welcome back to Wii E2. We just left off after having weird incident with Mr. Lucas. Freaking creep. Now we have to search for clues, I guess. Let's go to the chapel. Like, is that door still locked? It has to lead somewhere. I'm There's no way it leads anywhere. Doesn't make sense. Archi architecture wise. There's no room here. Magical door. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go left. Is there anybody? Do you have something else to say about this? No, lifeless eyes. Same as Effie. Hi. Let's check the cards. Let's go talk to the manager, I guess. Having missing memories kinda gives me this sort of squirmy feeling. I mean, it's not it's nice to not have the memory of being strangled by a girl. But there's lots of other memories I'd rather, I'd rather forget. Can't, do, can't those just go puff too? Yeah, yeah, you'll be you, you'll be you. I'm leaving. Don't want to talk to you again. You're weird. Hi. It seems as though things are getting serious. I'd like to ask you if you know anything about this matter. Oh, did someone ask you to do so? Yes. She said it could be awful for Mr. Lucas if this continues. The resort is closed for today, so she asked me to assist. I see. I'm terrible sorry you, you got wrapped up in all this just after arriving. But I need to attend to other things at the moment. Could you come back a little bit later? Yes, ma'am. Sorry to disturb your work. Let's talk to the manager. Sup? What is it? We're closed for today, so you can head out, head out into the town, into town to shop if you like. No, I'm fine. Actually, I was wondering if you knew anything about Mr. Lucas. About Lucas? Hmm. I'm sure you've already become fairly aware of his womanizing habits. Yeah. He's always been this way. It's gotten him stabbed and whatnot too many times to count. Crucifixion is too good for. Ahem, <laughs> er, it's almost comical. Comical how beyond fixing he is. And there's a woman he's dating right now as well. Someone he's dating? Who that woman be? Our own employee, Olivia. The snake woman in the red dress, you know. The big breasted girl, huh? That's the only trait that you will saw in her. No, not like her hair color, her face, eyes, big breasts. I guess we see where your mind is. Um, are Mr. Lucas and Mr. Olivia getting on well? Well, Olivia is jealous sort. She's displeased to see him with other women. As so long as she's looking, Lucas must not mingle too much with other girls. But as far as I can remember, they haven't gotten any especially big fights. I. Uh, she said that she stabbed him several times, actually. I see. Thank you so much. I do hope this can be all be resolved. I know. I'll do what I can I can to assist. I apologize for getting involved in this so immediately. Tell me if anything comes up. Yes, ma'am. In a relationship with Olivia. Feels like I'm starting to see the cracks of this. <laughs> but there are still things I don't know. I'll ask her directly. You will. Yes, you will. Let's see Olivia. Hi. Yes. Excuse me, I wanted to talk for a bit. Oh, no, it's fine. If I can assist you any. Um, I was told that you and Mr. Lucas are dating. Is this true? My, so you've heard. Yes, it's true. I've been dating him for a few years now. Mr. Lucas is quite the, wo the womanizer, isn't he? Yes, yes he is. But I can't put too much blame on him. Because that is just part of who he is. Were you doing anything last night? No, as soon as work was done, I went straight to bed. At least I think so. He has me worried how everyone is saying they're missing memories. It's been happening it's been happening often. Yes, especially recently. Even a few guests have said they've lost memories. When did they start? These things become quite frequent around the time that boy showed up. Yeah, about him. He's not who we think he is. Uh, he's evil, I tell you. He's evil. 
though some customers have started coming explicitly to forget their troubles. Ah, I see. Is there anything else you want to ask? No, no, I'm fine for now. Oh, you can come back to us anytime. Thank you. Let's leave. This is starting to get kind of complicated. It would be really bad to have my me own memories taken while I'm investigating. Damn it, I can't, sh I can't just feel it. This is gonna be a pain. It will. It, uh, it already kinda is. Hmm. It's morning. Papa's gone. I go look for him. Yeah, let's look for Leo slash... Who are you? Oh. Mr. Captain. Oh. I haven't seen you while, mess. So if Mr. Captain's here, where's the corpse? No, no, different kind of case today. Different kind? We heard rumor there's a dragon here, so we come to check on that. Oh, so you're too busy to talk, I guess. Once I finish up, I'd gladly talk with you. Hooray! The manager. He lets us borrow the room next door for a short time. Press in this room now, so he might entertain you for a bit if you ask him. You're not talking. You're not taking, taking Miss Brett, Mr. Brett, along with you? Well, there's a bit of a problem with that. But there, there won't be any brutal killers around this time, so he's just on standby. Hmm, I see. Now, if you'll excuse me. I guess if nobody's dead, then Papa must be okay. Okay, time, okay then, time to play. Hi, Mr. Brett. Oh, it's you. Been a while and morning. I want to talk. The captain says he's busy, so let's talk, Mr. Brad. Sure, I've been, I've already done all I can here. Why aren't you and Mr. Captain together? Couldn't I ask the same about you and Papa? I don't know. I don't know where Papa is, but he's not dead, so it's okay. The manager of this place has a whip, doesn't she? If we're fighting together, we could cut it apart. But in any other situation, I'm still absolutely terrified of those things. You got bullied with whips? More or less. Papa bullies me by flicking my forehead, so I hate that. It's awful. He does that to you? Terrible. But somebody gets stronger than he the flicks and beat them for good. <laughs> Effie, please, never change. Never change, Effie. I bet you can beat whips too, Mr. Brett. I see. You might be right. I'll have to try harder. But you're already really strong. Those, um... Misty things are like super overpowering. Oh, maybe it's hard to tell, but these are basically my wings and horns. Oh, oh, that's right. I should tell you. I can put those out free now. Cool. I already figured out how to use your power. That was fast. Yeah, but keeping them out wears me out real quick. Doesn't it make you tired? You always got them out, right? Uh, I've always had them like this. It allows me to counter any attack right away. But I only keep them out because I can fully control my power. If your power is unstable, it's very danger dangerous to do so. Is it dangerous? Yes, it's possible your powers can run amok. The boy who's accompanying the manager of this place, he might be dangerous. Yeah, he might! You know he is dangerous! He's the embodiment of dangers. He's totally a dragon, right? But no wings. Maybe a lack of control over his power is causing only his horns to appear. Or maybe he's using his power unconsciously. It's not definite, but I do think he's a dragon. He was asleep when I visited, so I didn't get to ask him. Man, so many mysteries. Damn it, Alta Hell! What? Damn it, Alta Hell? What does that mean? I didn't get it. Where did you learn that kind of language? Papa says that stuff all the time when he doesn't know something. Huh. As I told, he ought to be torn limb from limb. Huh? Hi, Mr. Captain. Good to see you, Captain. It's the Captain. The manager firmly me and says that the boy is a human. And he didn't show any sign of waking. I would draw for the time being. Is that so? Are you not busy anymore? I suppose I won't be until the boy wakes up. Oh. I wanna know some more. Should I talk to the captain? Y yeah, I guess you should. We're not we're not getting anywhere if we can't talk with that boy. Wanna talk? Can we talk right now? Yeah, that's fine. Hmm, what should I ask? 
Oh yeah, Mr. Captain. How old are you guys? Our age? I'm not sure, but I, be but I believe I've lived around 100 years. Be Brett's lived for 10 or so. 17 years. The tr then dragons really don't uh, change much as they age. That's right. Some dragons are roughly Brett's size when they are 3. How old's Papa? Pa 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 Papa. When I first married him, he seemed about 7 or 8. Now I would guess he's around 20, more or less. You met him that far back? Yes. He was part of a group of children about his age, living in the slums. He was sort of the boss of that group, and day by day they did thievery. Papa had friends? <laughs> Papa had friends? <laughs> poor Leo. Poor, poor Leo. Yes, sometimes they would act as a collective, other times he would act alone. But some years later, the children vanished when an incident befell the town. Whereas after that, we found him all alone. Where did his friends go, Dad? We did find some of the children far off towns, but one of them has never been seen since. They seem to be the weakest of the grab, you see. So they might, might well have died when they were separated. I see. One of Papa's friends died. The strong eat the weak, it's just how it goes. And I gotta be stronger. Heck, I get stronger than Papa, and be the one protecting him. I like your determination, you have my support. Oh yeah? Where did Papa go? I saw him in the hall, downstairs earlier. Okay, thanks. Don't hurry too much, you'll trip and fall. I'm fine. Hey, let's go see Papa. Huh. Let's save, just in case. Just to be safe. Huh, I was just about to go wake up. Save me the trouble. I got up a while ago. I was talking with the captains. Oh, right. What are they doing here? Not a corpse in sight. They said they had business with the dragon kid. Wondered wh wonder where they are. <sighs> I'm getting tired. Wonder where they got that info from. I'd like to meet whatever informant they've got. When I go ask? No, not really. I'll, I'll look into it myself. Now let's move. First the boy will leave. We'll talk to him. He's up? Yeah, I heard him talking in the room earlier. Let's go. Okay, I'm back. My throat is dying, like literally. The more I play, the, the harder it gets for me. Especially Leo's voice. He's... Okay, we need to meet the black sheep wherever he is hi why was his voice good morning wait no good morning no that wasn't it. that that wasn't it either i want to talk a little is that okay uh, huh um yes can we go somewhere else where Not outside please wonder why guess you have to Hi, William. I don't think anyone will be listening here. Ask me anything. Well, are you a dragon? Hey. I don't know either. Miss Sophia tells people I'm a human though. Is she often worrying over you? Yeah, and not just me. She worries for Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia and Tom and Mars. She's even concerned for a customer she doesn't really know. And lately, she's been really worried about the incidents with Mr. Lucas. Do you think you're human? It's only supposed to be dragons who can do magic and stuff, right? And what magic is that? I can... I can eat dreams. Yeah. So you're like me. When you eat dreams, is there a monster of sorts that comes out for you to eat? No, not really. There's this cotton candy stuff that flows over people's heads. I just suck it up, then they forget all about that dream. If I stare at it, I can see what's in the dream too. So no monsters that go rampaging, huh? So... I suppose you must be connected with the people who are losing their memories, right? N no, I I'm not. Yes, you are. Don't lie. I'm I'm usually with Miss Sophia, and I'm always studying, so I hardly even move from. And, and these things were happening before I came. Oh, yeah, no. No. Well, you lied. We'll ask you again after this. If Effie, clean up. Meal time. Hi. I barely move, I'm always studying. Let's go for truth for now. 
It happened before I came. Truth? I'm usually with the manager, but truth? This is a lie. This lie looks different. Don't worry about what comes after the troll. Should I use this? That was the weakest grenade I've ever seen. Hal, you suck. Dead. Fire learned. Boop. Hi. Why'd you lie? Because, um, it's Sophia. What about her? Oh. Uh, did you still want to ask something? No, that's fine. Thanks. Here is my memories twice. What a bastard. If I get a chance to freaking kill you, I will. Consider it. Okay, goodbye. Damn it, he took him. Our memories. But he calls it eating gyms, I guess. That settles. us. William's a memory eating dragon. He took our memories? How did, you, how did you know that, Hal? I was taking notes while he, he, while he wasn't looking. But now I have no memory of what I wrote here. Good thing I've been taking this then. Let's talk to the manager, manager next. Got it. That bastard. No, not here. Manager on right. With the wooden rocking horse. Yes? Would you mind talking to us for a bit? That's alright. I'll do what I can. I asked you this before, but why did you wait this long to contact the police? And this was the fifth time. If this has been that frequent. Lucas being stabbed or strangled or burned. It's all too common for the man. They always minor injuries, so I couldn't be too worried. Next is about William. Miss. Do you think he's human, or do you think he's dragon? Human, of course. He says he's James, but he's a child. He's just playing around. William's a fine human. This monster appears when people tell lies. Because I'm dragon and I eat lies. You'll ask you again after this. Yes. He can eat dreams, but that's true. William is a human. That, that, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a dirt. Also, I think almost dead. Um, let's kill Efina because she almost she's almost dead. Don't kill Efina. Efina's cool. She's a dragon. Dragons are cool. Um, Efina's almost dead again. Do you have another items? Yes, I do. Healer. And you, Efina, heal yourself. Oh, I was guarding. Eh, fuck you. <laughs> it was you were guarding when I was healing myself. Ha. Huh. Take that! Oh. Okay, let's just spam attacks. Let's just spam attacks. Spamming is for winning. My guys are weak. Either that or the lies are freaking strong. But we've seen little lies. So what will happen if we see a big lie? Because this is a little lie, basically. Bloop. Let's save. Also, let's heal. Because. He yeah, almost dead. Yep, yep. Here, here. Do I have uh, items that regenerate MP? No, I don't have. Fuck it. It happens to him near daily. But not really. They're just minor injuries. I mean, memory loss. I'm not worried. Y yes, you are worried. And let's just spam attacks. I mean, you know what, guys? I think this game would be better off without fighting. I really do. Because it's not like this fighting adds anything to the game, really. It just makes it longer, artificially so. Triple knife learned. Dragon knife learned. Hi. You're very worried about Mr. Lukash, aren't you? And you were reluctant to contact anyone because of William, yes? Correct. Why? Does it have to do with Will? Maybe you didn't know, but the police shelter dragons. Whether those dragons are subject to unfair treatment, or if their power is unstable, and they can't control it. I found out the rumors were spreading about him. I thought if I called the police, they would look into William, and I thought for sure they would take him away. I did do some research into dragons, but I haven't had the faintest idea why William's power is unstable lately. He's suffering so much. But my ignorance, I can, but in my ignorance, I can't help him at all. I failed as a parent. I was very worried about Lucas too. 
but he wasn't getting seriously hurt, so I didn't want to worry because of William. I need to protect them, but I can't protect anyone. I'm pathetic. This is all so shameful. I'll do what I can. Miss Sophia, maybe ignorance was a part of your actions, but there's no shame in it. You were doing everything you could do. So for William, and for Mr. Lucas, I am sure this is resolved. Thank you so much. Also, can I ask you two more questions? Ask away. Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia, have they really never so much as fought? Not as far as I know, but my memories might not be accurate. Because Will... <laughs> because William might have eaten them. <clears throat> Although, yes, I think that more things have been being broken lately. And I don't know why that is. Have Mr. Olivia and William been together more lately? Yes, they have. He's very often with Olivia when she's not working. Thank you for thank you for speaking with us. That will be all. I hope you can help us. Can you really resolve this? Yeah, we should be close. Let's go to Olivia. Okay, I'm all out of this the time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to this channel. As for now, I bid you farewell. Sayonara.